hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Edis Maloko for those of you that is your first time seeing my face hi i'm Edit, and i'm an international student in the united states i enjoy filming about my life experiences to be specific here in the united states then i give tips on you know if you're interested in coming here for your graduate studies i give tips on that as well so you might want to scroll down check my other videos out so today i'm going to talk about things to do after getting your admission after getting the congratulatory message congratulations that you've gotten admission to study so 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 stuff you know in this school so what follows it that's what i want to talk about in this video so um when you have decided on the school you want to go to after your admission and funding for those who need it those that don't have funding you are not exempted you also need an i-20 so you're going to request for your i-20 i think this is too high so you're going to request for your i-20 from your school so some give both hard copy and soft copy so it depends if you want soft copy they can just email it to you but if it's hard copy you might have to pay a shipping fee for the hard copy for some schools is between 50 to 100 dollars so you usually supply details of your passport page ability to cover costs like funding letter or bank statement for those that don't have funding so after getting your i20 or let me say in the process of getting your i20 i'll suggest that you request for an e-copy of your i20 even if the school wants to send you a hard copy you should also request for the soft copy so that you use the details to book for your visa interview yeah why are waiting the hard copy so you can always print the soft copy of your i20 on an a4 sheet of paper it's acceptable at the embassy so after your i20 you can start doing things like filling your ds160 form online i'm going to put the link where you're going to fill your ds160 form in this video you can use i'm also going to suggest a, a video where you can use as a guide on how to fill your ds160 i'm going to pin it in the description box and after filling your ds160 know that what i'm saying you can do it in it depends on how you want to start it you mustn't start filling your ds160 first before creating a cgi profile but i'm going to put it this way so um the next thing you can do or you might want to do is to create a cgi profile i'm going to also put that link in this video for you to do that so that you can do your appointment and also pay for your visa fee which costs about sixty-seven thousand two hundred, and you're supposed to pay it in a gt bank then book your dates at your desired location if an available one shows there's usually an issue of not having visa dates but i don't know for now but you should ensure you book dates as soon as possible once you've gotten your admission letter request your request for your i20 as soon as possible then start looking out for dates so the next thing you might want to do is to pay for your service fee you can create a coupon at the link in the description box or in this video i'm going to put it right away but you should know that someone in the united states will have to pay that money for you and it costs about 350 dollars so there might be like a processing fee attached to it maybe ten dollars or above it depends dollar rates differ so expect a wide range when converted and um, to be saved the payment must be confirmed in at least 72 hours prior to your interview so make sure that this payment is confirmed 72 hours before your interview to avoid issues so the next thing you might want to do is to prepare for your interview you know and pass it so if you need videos on how to pass your visa interview i'll have tons of videos concerning visa interview including documents to take along with you questions to expect and tips on how to pass your visa interview they are all in my channel so you might want to check them out i'll also ensure that i pin them 
in this video or you know just check you're going to see it so the next thing i want to do after doing all that is to book for your flight book for your flight flight typically ranges between I think 250,000 to 500,000 depending on when you're booking it might even be more than 500,000 naira so and um, for the cheapest i think most people say qatar airline is the cheapest i don't know you might want to check other airlines but check qatar airline so you look out for cheap ones depending on your location then uh if you want to go for a more expensive flight it's your money you know just spend the money as you want uh, more expensive ones are more comfortable cheap ones are also comfortable it depends on your definition of comfort right so um that will be it after getting your admission so good luck to you in all these processes i wish you you know a speedy process and uh i i believe your visa interview is going to go well and you're going to grab your visa and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye